Hey guys, this is David with Commotion Engine and I want to show you just a quick video on how to do a whiteboard hand effect in Adobe After Effects. And uh, so you've, we've all seen those videos where you have this hand drawing, you know, this stuff onto a whiteboard and a lot of times it actually is done for real. There's someone, you know, an artist in a studio with a whiteboard who's doing it, but that's very hard to do and very time consuming. You actually have to have the skill to do that freehand without using a, a program or anything like that. So let me show you kind of a, a project file we've put together that accomplishes this look in, in a much shorter period of time. So you can see that there's uh, kind of this whiteboard look here. The hand comes in, looks like it's drawing stuff on. And uh, this actually, this is a project file that does almost all the work for you. Um, what you will need to know though is there's another tutorial and I'll link to it below. But it's about uh, creating a paint reveal effect inside of After Effects and you'll need to understand how to do that before you use this uh, project. But um, again, this is, here's another example of uh, of using this project file we used it for this video right here so you've got kind of the hand coming in and just drawing the artwork in so anyway let's just get started with that um, so in this uh, project there's actually two main components to to uh, this um, so we've got the output comp which is what you'll actually render and it has the final look the final color grade all that and then you have the main comp which has all the nitty-gritty details and I'm just going to go through all of these layers and just explain what each of them do and kind of where to put your artwork so that all this will work out for you. So the top level layer is basically just a vignette. Um, it just adds some subtle lighting effects. That's really optional. Then you have a camera layer, and this is what you're going to use to move around in the project. So you'll, you'll see with these keyframes that we're panning over as if it's a video looking at a whiteboard. So you've got that going on. Then you've got the actual hand effect here. Now this is probably the most complex component of it, but it's pretty much automatic. What you'll just need to do is animate this layer to follow your artwork. So you'll, you'll start out by having no hand whatsoever, and you'll animate this artwork in, uh, just have it, have it kind of reveal in as we go. And then, then what you'll do is once you've got that down, you'll come back and you'll animate this hand following it. And, uh, what happens is when you animate and do the render, and I need to turn off this proxy here, but um, the project will actually just switch out the images that are being used depending on the direction of the hand, depending on where it's moving. So it kind of gives it a little bit of a natural look as if someone's uh, writing it out. The proxy is enabled right here on the hand layer just because some of this is a little slow. And so if you leave that on, it will be faster for you to do your animation and then when you render it the proxy won't be used anyway so you'll, you'll get the final look at, at the end so we've got this hand layer and, and what you'll do is again just take the position and you'll just animate this position property you really won't have to touch anything else and there are a lot of scripts and expressions going on you shouldn't have to touch that these three layers are shadow layers so just shadows from different angles to make it look more natural these are somewhat optional but they, they definitely improve the look you probably want to toggle these off when you're actually doing your animation. So then the next layer here is the actual artwork, so the restaurants and all that. So if you go in here, it's really just a two-dimensional composition of, of this stuff being revealed um, against really just a white background. And once again, go ahead and check out that tutorial that'll explain how to actually do this paint stroke reveal. Um, so then this layer is a dividing layer. It's basically just an adjustment layer. And what it does is it makes sure that the shadows and the hand and all this stuff render on top of this whiteboard background. Sometimes with the wiggle effects, you might accidentally have things pop behind it, which wouldn't look good. So this is kind of a safety to make sure that that all works together. And then the last component here is this whiteboard tile effect in the background. Now this is um, very, very simple to use here. I'm just going to solo these layers so you can see what's going on. But what we have is, just to delete the other ones, we have this one layer here. And uh, it's a, a mirror, so it tiles perfectly. And to tile the layer, all you have to do is animate these properties or just change these properties. So this is tile left and right, and this is tiling up and down. And so to give you an example, let me just duplicate this layer. And on the duplicate, I'm going to just move that to zero. So it moved one 
unit to the left. So now if I look at it, that seam point is invisible. So you can duplicate the layer again, both of the layers actually. And let's say we want two copies on top. What we do is for both of these, we would change the up and down property. We would just uh, move those positive or negative. You can go either way. And uh, so now you've got you know, a seamless tile with all four of these going on. And so that means as you animate your camera around, you're hopefully not gonna hit the edge point. You'll just be able to create more copies. So the last thing about this tile is you'll notice there are these little scribbles on it just as if things have been erased on the whiteboard. You can actually go into the tile layer here. It's called the doodles layer. And if you shut that off, that'll turn that off. And maybe if you're looking for a little bit more of a clean look, um, that, that'll kind of give that to you. So anyway, that's it for this layer. That's really all there is to it. You just take your artwork, you put it inside of at this level here. You can use this comp or even create your own. And then you would just make it a 3D layer. And then when you do your animation, you can do all the rest of the stuff. So then the output comp here, um, really there's just some color correction added on this layer. Then you have some grain added, so there's a little bit of noise in the shadows just to make it look more like video. And the last is the flicker and shake effect. And this is really optional, but there's an exposure flicker which just kind of gives it more of a stop motion look. And then there's the, the uh, jittering uh, moving up and down, left and right, and that's done using the motion tile and the transform effect. You can see some of the, the keyframed properties there. But um, if, you know, these effects are completely optional, you can shut off these if you don't want it to, to uh, actually do that jittering effect. You can just turn those two off. Or obviously you can just shut off the whole layer if you don't want any of those going on. But, you know, sometimes it, it adds a little bit more of an organic look to it. Um, but really, that's it. Uh, I will include a download link to these uh, project files, so you can just uh, download them, and uh, hope you guys find this useful. Thanks.